All right. So looking back on a little bit of historical data, quite a few um, old examiner's reports as well as just the results we've generally seen, is that difference equations often need a little bit more work. So breaking it up into a few little components here, starting with kind of the foundational idea of difference equations, they're used everywhere in difference equations, subscripts. So starting with what are they and how do you use them appropriately? So first of all, basically what is a subscript before we get into how they work? Well, it's this little guy here. Okay, so on T sub N, the subscript is N, also known as the little letter or number below. Okay, so sub meaning below. So it's often written fairly small, so it's really clear that you're not writing, for example, um, T times N. So always make it nice and tiny underneath. Okay, so what the purpose of a subscript is, okay, it acts as a reference point. Okay, so in particular with number patterns, it acts as a reference point for how many ter how terms compare to one another. So is it before, is it after, is it one before, one after, two before, we want to know how they compare in the list. Okay? So in addition to just talking about how they, where they lie compared to each other in the list, we can actually substitute in a number um, for the reference points and be more specific. Okay? So we can actually give a value to n such as 2. Okay? So if we've got okay, tn is really t2, Okay, so n is equal to 2, we can have tn plus 1, which is t3, and so forth. Okay, so just getting a little bit for kind of the standard ones that you see in a difference equation. tn is basically your focal point, so it's kind of thought of as the current term. So we want to be able to describe where terms lie and compare to it. So if I have t sub n, my question is, where do the following terms lie compared to t sub n? So, tn plus 1, well, n plus 1, that means 1 greater, meaning the term directly after. Okay, so tn plus 1 is 1 term after tn, or t sub n. Okay, whereas going the other way, tn minus 1, well that's one term before, okay, because the, the reference point will be one less, so it'll be one term before tn. And it doesn't just need to be one before or after, it can be as many as we like, so for example 2n minus 2 compared to t2, I'm sorry, tn, it is 2 terms before tn. So if I've got a list of all these terms, wherever tn is, whichever term I choose to be tn, that focal point, tn minus 2 is 2 terms before it. Okay. So let's get to actually putting in values because that's often what's required for difference equations. Okay. So I think what isn't always clear is that when I'm talking about tn and tn plus 1, the value of n is actually, it's the same n. Okay, so the n is the same n for tn, tn minus 1, tn plus 1. So whatever value I pop in for n, I put in the same value in all the places, but I might have to add or subtract 1 to get it to change a bit. Okay, so once we have a starting point, we can fill in those subscripts and then use whatever the definition is for our difference equation to actually do some work. We'll get to that a little bit later. So for example, if my reference point is the third term, so I'm talking about, when I talk about tn, I want to be talking about t3, or the third term. Well, what term number would t sub n plus 1 be? Well, again, Whatever I put in for that n is the same thing I pop in for that n. So that's t sub 3 plus 1. Well, 3 plus 1 is just 4. And that conceptually makes sense because t sub n plus 1 is, we talked about just above, is one term after tn, and t4 is directly after t3. Whereas tn minus 1, again, popping in 
a value for n of 3 t sub 3 minus 1. Well, that's really just t sub 2. And then, well, two terms before term 3, putting the 3 in for n, well, subtracting 2, that's actually talking about term 1. So often you would just do these in your head, but just to get the hang of, well, if, if t3 is my focal term, what's tn minus 2? Well, that's 2 before term 3, so that's term 1. Okay. Here's another one. Give it a go on your own first. So pause the video and give it a try, um, and then have a look. Okay, so if tn is really t5, so my focal term is the fifth term, well, that means tn plus 1 is one term after t5. Well, 5 plus 1 is just, not 6, but t6. Okay. And tn minus 1, well, that's one term before t5, so that's really t4. And two terms before that, tn minus 2, well, 5 minus 2 is really 3, so I'm talking about term 3. Okay. Now, I just want to make a little bit of a point with this one here. So if n was to be equal to 2, okay, so, well, that means tn is t2. The term after that, tn plus 1, well, that's got to be term 3. tn minus 1, the term before term 2, well, that's term 1. And then we don't always use this, but often we have a kind of zeroth term. Okay, so if I was to put 2 in here, maybe I'll show the working out for that one. So if I put 2 in for n, I get 2 minus 2, which is term 0. Now if I had to find, say, tn minus 3, uh-oh. 2 minus 3 is t negative 1, okay, or t sub negative 1. When we're talking about an ordered list, you can't go into the negatives, so this is not considered, okay? So this is where we would often put on a restriction, something like n greater than or equal to 2, so that you don't have that scenario um, where you have a negative subscript. Okay. So just do be aware, you often see this in questions. Um, I've had questions about it, what is it, why is it there? It's basically there as a mathematical disclaimer so that you don't ever have this scenario where you're going into negative subscripts. Okay, so that's the big idea with subscripts. How do they work? How do we use them? Um, we're going to get into kind of the next step, which is difference equations. So assuming this is prior knowledge, we're comfortable with this going on and how do difference equations work?